Welcome to footballgameplan.com where football makes sense. I'm Emory Hunt, the czar of the playbook. Bring you a Southern Conference game presented by collegesportsjournal.com between the Wofford Terriers and the Georgia Southern Eagles. Let's look at this ball game. Let's start with Wofford in this matchup. And we all know about Eric Breitenstein, the talented fullback in that option attack and what they do to a defense. But I look at their defense, man. Their defense have been playing some good football. And outside linebacker Philip Legrand is going to have to have a huge day playing discipline. The good thing about Wofford, they have already experienced this team years before and also the fact that they run the option themselves. So I look at Legrand being a key force on the defense to help stop that option attack of Georgia Southern, who's quietly have been playing some good football all year long, despite the one hiccup. Now you look at the Eagles in this ball game, I look at their defense, their nose tackle, Brent Russell, one of the best nose tackles in the country, regardless of division. And what he has to do this week, he's 6'2", 297, big guy. It's all about stopping the interior on the option tag, and it's really about stopping the dive. So he's going to be matched up on the center. He's going to have to stop Breitenstein, and you can instantly stop the option attack. you got to take away the dive, and everything else will fall apart. It's almost like take the head off the snake, and the body will die. So defensively, this is going to be a game from two guys' perspective. The outside linebacker, Wofford, the nose tackle of Georgia Southern. I like the Eagles in this ball game. Why? I think their defense have been playing some good football consistently all year long. And Wofford, quiet as kept, haven't been tested yet. This would be a real test versus a very good ball club. So I like Georgia Southern to win this ball game.